This video covers the basics of installing VCDS onto your Windows laptop. VCDS is for the Rostec line of dongle-based interfaces we've manufactured since the early 2000s. When you run the VCDS installer, do not have the interface plugged up to the laptop. To get the latest version of VCDS, go to download.ros-tech.com. Scroll down the page and you will find the download button to download the latest version of the VCDS software. Once that has downloaded, run the VCDS installer. Windows may ask, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device or something similar to this? If so, click on yes. The first question the VCDS installer will ask is, would you like to see the installation instructions? You can click on no. The welcome screen will now come up. Remember to make sure your Rostec device is unplugged from the computer. Click on next. The next window is the license agreement screen. Review the license agreement, then check the box in the lower left to accept the terms of the license agreement, then click on next. On the Choose Component screen, if you are using the HexNet or HexV2 interface, then you should not need to make any changes and can click on Next. However, if you're using one of our discontinued legacy interfaces, then you will need to check the box for Install USB Drivers for Legacy Interfaces and then click on Next. With the Choose Install Location, the default value is C colon slash Ross Tech slash VCDS. Do not change this unless instructed to do so. Click on Install. If the Welcome to Device Driver Installation Wizard window comes up, click on Next. Once that is complete, click on the Finish button. The VCDS software is now installed. Click on the Finish button to open the VCDS software. When the new install of VCDS is run for the first time, you will get a pop-up message, First Use, No Config File Found. Plug your interface up to the laptop's USB port. Click on Options and then click on Test. The test results should show the interface is found and identify what type of interface. Note the status of the interface. Some interfaces may require a firmware update. There are instructional videos on doing firmware updates at the bottom of the web page VCDS was downloaded from. If the interface is up to date, the status will be questionable or not plugged into car. Once you have verified the Rostec interface is up to date, plug up to the vehicle, have the ignition turned on, and do the test again. Now the status should show as ready. Note that the test results can vary depending on what interface you have and what car you are plugged into. Click on OK, then Save. VCDS is now ready to use.